Good morning, Walden Church. It's Pastor David, and it's Monday. Every Monday, uh, we're going to have a devotional because typically on Monday, uh, we would do uh, morning prayer. And so we used to have morning prayer uh, every Monday. We get together, we go over some of the prayer requests, we'd have coffee. Uh, and I just thought, you know what, we'll continue that. We'll continue that on Mondays by having a devotional. So you'll be able to come back to YouTube every Monday and have a devotional from me to start your week. And so this week I was actually thinking about uh, the song, Turn, Turn, Turn. Do you know that song? I'm actually old enough to remember uh, Pete Seeger, his lyrics for Turn, 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 because it's actually taken from the Bible. I'll throw the lyrics up on the screen if uh, you're not familiar. So the lyrics go to everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to laugh, a time to weep, to everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, 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 and a time to every purpose under heaven. And really the reason why I know this song, uh, well, just because I you know, grew up in my parents' house and, you know, my parents were uh, older and I was the firstborn kid and, you know, just grew up with a lot of music from the 50s, 60s, and 70s in my life. But also because this song is directly taken from the Bible. This is actually a passage from Ecclesiastes. It's Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3. Uh, verse 1 says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. And Solomon, in this passage, he's comparing the seasons of our life with the seasons that we experience throughout the year. And Solomon was saying, you know, just like how there's certain things we do in every season, things that we expect from the seasons, there's also things that happen to us in our life. And everybody will experience these things throughout a lifetime. And you've probably had things come up in your life where you've said, oh, I don't have time for this, right? Something kind of interrupts your life and you say, I don't, ha I don't have time for this. And it's kind, of a, it's kind of a frustration, right? And we think, we, and we all think that. We all think that. Something interrupts our life and we just say, oh, I don't, I don't have time for this. I mean, even right now, uh, even with the situation that we're in, business, business could have been going really great. Uh, the school year could have been going really well. You could have been in the middle of a large project and then this happens and you and you said you know what this couldn't have come at a worse time this couldn't have come at a worse time for my kids this couldn't have come at a worse time for my family this couldn't have come at a worse time for my business you know i i don't know i don't know because there, there's the, there we are in a season right now i mean not just in our life but in the world right we're in a season we're in the season of spring it's supposed to be spring we're heading into easter right now and, and as spring and what we expect from a season our our bodies our minds you know thinking about spring it's supposed to be this season of freshness it's supposed to be the season of new life and internally it actually feels like winter this feels like winter we're in spring but it feels like winter because winter is the season of uh being dormant you know, being huddled up in your house around a fire. Winter is the season of, of uh, shops and stores being closed for the winter, right? And, and so I think our body and our mind wants tulips <laughs> and grass and running out in the field and the world feels cold and closed. But as Solomon points out, Solomon says, you know what? God has a perfect plan for you. God has a perfect plan for our lives. And whether we realize it or not, right, we do have time for this. We do have time for this because it's God's timing. There, there, there will be these times in our life where God will ask us day in and day out to do the same thing, you know, and we feel like we're just trudging along. But it's, it's the work of life sometimes. And sometimes work is monotonous. Life is monotonous. And we have to do the same thing, clock in, clock out, you know, the same thing 
every single day. But then there's other moments in our life, other seasons in our life of quietness. There are seasons of rest that, that come into our life as well. And then there's the excitement. And those moments come back. Those seasons of excitement and energy and new beginnings, they return. They do, they return. And by God's grace, we're gonna overcome this heartache. By God's grace, we're gonna overcome this grief. Absolutely, right? Because you need both. You need winter because winter leads to spring, right? So even though it feels more like winter, I would argue that you kind of need the moments of winter so that spring feels all the more enjoyable. And that's the nature of seasons. That is the nature of seasons. The seasons work together, like Solomon says, to bring about God's perfect will for each one of us. We are just walking through an unexpected season right now. And internally, we might be saying, I don't have time for this, but we are all in this together. And we're going to walk through this season together. And it just means that when it's all over, spring will feel all that much more enjoyable. I know it's tough. I'm, we're, my family's personally in week three of self-isolation. So, you know, we're going a little stir crazy. You probably are too, uh, but hang in there, right? Hang in there. We're all of this together. We're thinking about you. We're thinking about each other. We're praying for you as a church. And uh, I know uh, your friends are calling you and checking in on you. We see each other when we go out for walks and just know that, yeah, we're going to get through this, right? We're going to get through this. The season will pass and we will all be together soon. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.